Anna Reta so on an independent doe, White House doubles down on Kamia attacks White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders doubled down on comments she made earlier this week about former FBI Director James Comey having potentially broken the law when he leaked notes memorializing his conversations with the president to a friend, who then gave them to the New York Times. Asked on Wednesday what specifically Sanders was referring to when she said on Tuesday that some of Comey's conduct could have been illegal. Sanders replied that the memos that Camille leaked were created on an FBI computer while he was the director. A White House official told Business Insider on Tuesday that we don't know whether the information in the memo Camille gave to his friend was classified. The friend, Daniel Richman, has insisted it wasn't he. But Sanders said on Wednesday that leaking FBI memos on a sensitive case is illegal regardless of classification. He claims they were private property but they clearly followed the protocol of an official FBI document, Sanders said. Leaking FBI memos on a sensitive case, regardless of classification, violates federal laws, including the Privacy Act, a standard FBI employment agreement, and a non-disclosure agreement all FBI employees must sign. I think that is pretty clean, and clear, that that would be a violation. Former federal prosecutor Renato Mariotti told Business Insider on Wednesday that Sanders' comments were not as straightforward as they seemed. It is very hard for me to see what the Privacy Act has to do with the memos written by Camille, Mariotti said. The other two things she mentioned were the FBI Standard Employment Agreement and Non-Disclosure Agreement. Those are contracts, not laws. Could they sue Camille for breach of contract? Maybe but it would be a suit for money damages, not a FBI criminal investigation. Asked what she would like to see happen, Sanders replied, that it's not up for me to decide the Department of Justice has to look into any allegations of whether something is illegal or not. Sanders sparked controversy on Tuesday when she said the Justice Department should certainly look at prosecuting Camille, whom she accused of leaking privileged information and giving false testimony to Congress. Asked for comment. A White House official told Business Insider on Tuesday that Sanders was simply referring questions about the legality of Camille's actions to the DOJ. Still, many legal and national security experts found Sanders' remarks disconcerting and inappropriate. It is hard to overstate how egregious Sanders' conduct is here, said Susan Hennessy, a former national security agency attorney. It is an outright assault on an independent DOJ. Democratic Senator Sheldon Whitehouse weighed in on Wednesday morning on Twitter. FBI DeRay said there had not been a whiff of White House pressure. He just got his first whiff. His tweet was in response to Sanders' DOJ comments. Someone in WH needs to tell them to knock it off, he said. Matthew Miller, who served as a DOJ spokesman under President Barack Obama, echoed White House's sentiment on Wednesday afternoon. Where's the Attorney General? Miller wrote. Eric Holder would have been on phone immediately telling the WH to cut this crap out. Ben Witz, a friend of Kami who is the editor-in-chief of Lawfare, a blog dedicated to national security issues, told Business Insider on Tuesday that Jim Kami would not have mishandled classified information. In a battle between Kami and the president over any matter of credibility, I would think the question answers itself as to which one I believe, Witz said. And I can't imagine that Jim is spending any time worried about any investigation of his conduct. Whereas I think the president is clearly very concerned about investigations of his conduct.